Here's a quick look into the prop balancer that I have built. Uh, there's a few different methods used to balance props and I have a few of them here to show you what I ended up with. So this is a motorcycle balancing stand for wheels. Um, it's been slightly modified to have uh, you know these four bearings um, be the part that this uh, the shaft rolls on. And, and, the, and this works okay for two blades because you can use um, adapters and such to hold it in a position to where it'll turn and balance. However, there's lots of issues with these bearings. They I already took the seals off and cleaned them out, which they didn't come that way, but they still don't spin very well. And then when you have four of them together, it, it takes a lot of the accuracy out of your reading. So, uh, stuff that I've tried in the past, this little weird thing. I got this online um, and it's funky so you're supposed to just set it down and throw a prop on it and then balance it with gravity yeah that thing sucks don't like it maybe it works great for someone out there I don't know what the hell to do with that thing so uh, I've tried a bunch of different things and everything's kind of been not as accurate as I want it to be. If I'm gonna build something, I want it to be done right. A lot of the props that I deal with are three blade and there's just not an easy way to balance the threes on a setup that I've seen yet. So I said, why not just get an extra hub? So this is the same hub that we bolted to. An extra, uh, an eccentric here, and there's one bearing inside here. Instead of having the two stock bearings that come in it, which are these guys, I only have one ceramic bearing, which is what that looks like right there. The regular bearings don't spin that free, and this one's the best it's ever going to get, because I cleaned it out, took the seals off, but still wasn't as good as I needed it to. The ceramic bearing, low friction, will spin for 10 times longer and give a much more accurate reading. So there's a single bearing inside here and you can see just with a tiny little spin it will sit there and spin and spin and spin. That gives you a really accurate reading. So you don't need this stand but it's nice to have because it holds the prop for you while you balance. Um, so I don't use this anymore. Throw that there. And basically I made this really really cheaply done and I'm not proud of this but it's just basic an adapter that takes an end that looks like that and transforms it into a hole like that so I can put this in here just to hold it for me like that just a little holder all right now that we have our three blade bolted to the hub same as if it was on a motor, so it's held perfectly. All the blades are perfectly in position. You don't want to balance it if it's not going to be, and that was my issue with the other ones. That, uh, you know, I thought there might be a little bit of play in the setup, so no point in balancing it if it's not right. Uh, the heavy side on this, gravity will just pull the heavy side down, and once it settles, you can kind of mark the top end and then basically what you want to do is add weight to the top and then turn the light side 90 degrees left or right and then let it go and then when the balance is equal it won't spin as you can see this one's still got a slight spin it's coming down really slowly that's a good indicator that this balancer is very accurate but um, you're just playing a game here with adding weight Alright, so this one's bouncing out about right there. Um, so I'm going to show you just to stick a piece of tape on the end of this blade here. And you'll see how much of a difference happens. Just let it go. Straight down it goes. And that's just a piece of tape. So these things need to be very accurate. Um, and where you add the weight does matter. So. If I were to put this same piece of tape right here, so I take it back off, and it stays there. 
if I put the same piece of tape over here at the middle, you'll see it still drop, but it's less dramatic. So the farther out you put the weight, the more it matters. In order to balance the prop, you have to either add or take away weight. So if the heavy side's on the bottom, you can add weight to the top to balance it out, or you can take weight from the bottom. You can either sand or some people put clear coat on the back. Um, but it's really easy, fast, and cheap. I haven't had any issues with this way either. So, I mean, you guys can do what you want, but you can use pieces of tape on the back side. Um, and that one's like about halfway up. But uh, And that's just Gorilla Tape. And we haven't had any issues with these coming off. So, this one had... A little bit of damage here, so they can get the focus. And we just put some epoxy, um, sanded it, and we had to add a little bit of weight to both blades to even it out. You're probably going to have to end up adding about the same amount of weight on each of the other blades, depending on how yours ends up. But so, if yours balances out to where there's a heavy side, if there's a heavy prop facing down, you're going to have to add weight to both of these or if the heavy if there's a the light side is on top like this you'll have to add weight only to one so you kind of just have to balance it out um, another cool little trick that I do with this guy is um, if there's a heavy side like this what I'll do is I'll add weight to this side until these two props are even like from the middle point they're kind of even with the horizon and you can add and take away weight from one side and you can see that come down 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 and then when you get those two bottom ones even then you only have the lightest one sticking up straight up then what you'll do is you'll take that last side hold it even with the horizon let it go and then obviously it's going to be the light side so it's going to go up but you keep adding weight and then bringing it down again and keep adding weight and then eventually you'll get to the point to where your tape piece is just the right size where you let it go and it doesn't move. And at that point, you can check all the positions in every different spot and wherever you let it go, it should stay there. Then you have a perfectly balanced prop and that thing makes a hell of a difference between something that's just half-assed and something that's really done nicely. So, cheers.